An employee working as a mechanic at the U.S. Postal Service's Distribution Center in Greensboro, North Carolina, suffered a life-changing injury on September 27, 2021. The worker's arm was amputated after contacting a machine that had a safety guard removed. Let's learn more about this incident in this week's NASP Safety News Break. The U.S. Department of Labor's Occupational Safety and Health Administration inspected the USPS facility, which operates as the Greensboro Network Distribution Center. This distribution center is a bulk mail processing and distribution center, where a programmable network of heavy conveyor lines and other systems handle packages for delivery. The inspection identified repeat and serious safety violations, including failure to ensure that safety guards were in place as required and allowing conveyor guards to be routinely removed, leaving workers at risk of injuries. The facility also did not train staff on working near conveyors or proper methods for safely operating equipment using lockout-tagout safety measures. In addition, OSHA found that the USPS allowed unqualified workers, workers without adequate training and protective equipment, to perform tests on live electrical equipment. OSHA issued two serious and two repeat citations, totaling nearly $171,000 in proposed fines. The U.S. Postal Service ignored long-established safety standards and put workers at risk, said OSHA Area Director Kimberly Morton. The USPS has an obligation to eliminate hazards to ensure safe working conditions and prevent another worker from suffering a tragic and life-altering injury. What do you think about the post office's latest citations? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest safety and environmental news. Keep safe out there and we'll see you on the next NASP Safety News Break.